one of her senior leaders was standing in the pit lane with a client and the client was saying to him, what are you doing? You look so calm. Why are you not in amongst that shouting at these guys and getting them to do what you, they need to do in this moment? And this leader said, it's not my job. My job is to make sure that in these moments, the people who have the most knowledge, in this case, a, a young guy with his backside sticking out of a car and trying to fix this thing, He's got all the knowledge, so he makes the decision as to what happens. So that's what we need to do is we need to make sure that all the systems, all the training is put in place so that when it comes to those big moments, the people who have the most knowledge make the decisions. Leadership is one of those things that you can train into people and you can help them develop their leadership. But there's got to be an innate sense within people as to who those leaders are and who has the capability to be a great leader in that organization as well. I'm looking for where does that team naturally look towards in those times of high pressure and high stakes because where they look are the natural leaders in this organization and it doesn't matter how senior they are how new to the business they are if your people in those times of huge pressure are looking at certain individuals in their organization those are leaders already whether they know it or not so i always challenge the leaders that i work with is to are you looking for those eyes in those moments of high pressure, are you just watching things happen and, and unfolding in front of you? Are you actually taking the opportunity to see how your team's reacting and looking for where they're looking so that you know how to develop those leaders in the future? It's all about understanding first and foremost, what is it you're trying to achieve and what does that involve? And then really thinking outside the box and going, who else is doing this really well? You know, you, you, can, you can look at different sports teams, you can look at different career uh, paths and things like that so I know facilitators who work with comedians you know because actually the way in which you address an audience and the way in which you bring your messages across can really really help them that so it's about finding those bits outside of your normal day-to-day -day workspace and getting the inspiration from those external providers.